Okay, so good afternoon. My name is Yuka Uchida. I'm a student at Northumbria University. I'd like to thank you for giving me the chance to speak about my dissertation survey here today. Okay, so I decided on this topic for my dissertation because I want to know why Western conservators use Japanese paper and what characteristics of Japanese paper are required in Western conservation. To reveal my research question, I conducted an online survey. The questionnaire consists of 10 questions and two parts. Today, I will talk about results focusing on the first part, especially the use of handmade and machine-made Japanese paper in Western conservation. First of all, I want to express my gratitude, especially to ICON members. This pie chart shows the respon responses, uh, show the percentage of respondent by continent. About half of the respondent are UK, so thank you very much for your help. Let's move on the finding. Question one, which types of thin paper do you use for conservation treatment in Western collection? This bar graph shows the percentage of responses and it shows up. Most conservators tend to use both handmade and machine-made Japanese paper. Regarding the specific name of other thin paper, there are many names of paper, so I divided them according to raw material like this table. So the table shows most conservators look using manila hemp paper. However, I found the problem about confusing product name. For example, what is lens tissue, spider tissue, or tarantula tissue? They all may indicate product name of manila hemp paper, but the information is very, very vague. Let's move on question two. Do you notice any different characteristic between handmade and machine-made Japanese paper? This pie chart shows more than half of conservators notice the differences between them, and according to responses, there are some characteristics can be seen, such as grain direction, surface texture, uniformity, and length of fiber. Next question three. Do you distinguish between handmade and machine-made Japanese paper depending on the purpose of treatment? The answer are divided into almost the same percentage among yes, no, and some time. I found a tendency that conservators who answered yes said they use handmade and machine-made Japanese paper depending on the treatment, such as repairing or lining. Meanwhile, conservators who answer no or sometimes said they place importance on other characteristics such as weight, color, and texture. I'm sorry to skip question four, but to save the time. Finally, question five. What is your definition of Japanese paper? I have many, many comments to this finding, but at least the result shows that handmade or machine-made look important matter for Western conservators. I understand that the main problem is there is no definition of Japanese paper. And so now I have to think about what is Japanese paper. In conclusion, based on the result I told you today, now I'm going to focus on two topics. First, definition of Japanese paper. Second, paper makes it suitable for the conservation treatment in Western collection. So thank you very much for your attention. 
I would really appreciate if you could give me any advice or comments. So thank you again.